Welcome to this video series uh, on the SAP Cloud Platform ABAP environment and the ABAP RESTful programming model. So in this video series, we're just going to demonstrate um, all of the, the exercises that we have, have here. Um, I've already done the, the get started part, so we'll probably jump right into the hello world, but let's take a look at what's in the getting started really quick. Um, so if we take a look here, um, yeah, so we assume that you've are you already have access to the the ABAP um, ABAP environment and SAP Cloud Platform the the trial system. Um, if you don't, you can follow this this tutorial here um, that walks you through the process of getting a trial user and creating a connection to the system. Um, and things like that. So once that's complete, then you can go ahead and, and continue um, creating your package. Um, and again, this is a shared system, so um, you want to create a package that um, is unique. Um, so for example here, I've used the group XXX, um, where XXX is, is a group number. Um, so if you pick like one, two, three, or four, five, six, or whatever, some three digit number to keep unique unique from from everybody else in the system um, next 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 finish and you have your package and then uh, we can continue on to exercise one our, our hello world exercise so let's go ahead and and do the exercise one where we're creating a hello world uh, so what we'll do is we'll create a a very simple http service uh, in ABOP, um, which then we can call from the browser and, it, and it'll show us uh, hello world. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can right click on my package and say new ABOP repository object. And then I'll scroll down here to connectivity, HDB service, click next. And I'll give it a A name here, hello world, XXX, hello world. Next, finish. Great, now I have my HTTP service. Um, what, what it's done here is just generated a bunch of things in the background. I have a URL that points directly to my service. And I've also, it's also um, predetermined the handler class um, that's, that I'll use to, to implement my methods. Um, so I can go ahead and click on that uh, handler class. And you'll see here that it implements this interface um, IF HTTP service extension which uh, I'll put my code right in here in this, this handle request method. So let's insert the, the line of code here. I'm not going to type that. So response sent, set text, hello world. So basically where it's, it's doing exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's setting the text for the response object and, and we should see hello world on the other end of this. We can go ahead and save and activate. Okay, now we can re return to our uh, service and click the URL. And we should get our browser. And I'm going to log in here. So it takes a couple seconds for the um, for the service to, to generate uh, all of, all of the good stuff behind the scenes, uh, and once all every, everything is ready, you can see I have a response here. Um, Hello world. Okay, let's continue on uh, exercise one and go into exercise uh, one dot two, which is extending Hello world. Um, so here we're we're going to modify our our handler class. Uh, to handle some URL parameters. So let's go back to our, our class. And I'm not going to type all this, so I'm just going to copy the code in. I'm 
as such. So basically here, uh, what I'm doing is, is I'm putting in code to handle parameters that will be passed via the URL. So, um, so I've, I've established that there's going to be a parameter called uh, command or CMD. Um, if, if the request that's coming in does not contain that parameter, then I'm, I'm giving a, a bad request, uh, sending back a, a bad request. Um, and then it's going to check the value, the value that's associated with that parameter. Is it, is it hello? Um, and if so, then it's going to do what we, what we've already done with the set text. We'll send back a hello world, um, response. Um, if it's, if it's timestamp, then I'm going to do some ex something extra here where I'm, I'm getting the user name and the system date and the system time and pass that back as the response. Just illustrates how you can um, pass different parameters to the service and get a different output based on those parameters. Okay. So I've copied this in here. I'll go ahead and save and activate this. And I'll return to my service so now when when we launch our service you can see that I'm getting this HTTP error 400 uh, and that's okay because that's what I've coded for I've said if I'm not passing a parameter uh, an expected parameter of CMD then issue a, an error 400 um, so it's expecting that. So now I have to put uh, put that in the URL above here. So let's go ahead and add it. So I'll say and CMD equals hello. And you can see now that now that I'm passing this parameter, it gives me hello world. And if I say timestamp stamp, it gives me the the other response. Okay, so that is exercise one. Um, check out the next video for exercise two.